So let's take a look at queries. A simple query might access your company's data to ask, for example, what were total shipments to a certain customer in December? Or how many or what level of a certain product do we have in inventory? Most query tools also provide simple reporting functionality and also could be used, for example, to generate a simple report listing the number of deviations sorted and totaled by department or by product. In the area of reporting, uh, enterprise or production reporting typically involves high volume, high resolution reports that are run on a regular basis. An example might be a QA director report showing monthly nonconformances by product and then by customer. The report distribution would likely be controlled so that each QA manager could see entries only for his or her division or functional area. The report might be emailed to them or viewed perhaps through a web browser. With advanced analysis functionality, users can view data across multiple classifications or dimensions. For example, by product, by manufacturing or distribution site, customer, location, and time period. They can slice and dice the data to look at various combinations, such as the distribution shipments or sales in each region for a given time period, or which products each customer purchased last year. Advanced analysis functionality also permits organizations to define hierarchies so that, for example, a user could first view distribution or sales for each region and then drill down to view the distribution in each country of each product from each distribution center. These advanced analytics make it easy to compare the results from one time period with another. This July's product distribution with last July's for example, while performing year-over-year -year comparisons by product, division, manufacturing, or distribution site. Other advanced functionalities, such as filtering, can be used to include or exclude specific sites, regions, products, or time periods, and look at the top or bottom best or worst performing products, sites, or divisions. Combined with drill down, slice and dice, and filtering functionality, this provides for a powerful multidimensional analysis. With regard to interactive analysis, simple reports were initially designed for passive viewing, while advanced products perform interactive analyses. Many of these advanced functionalities were once available only in specialized online analytical processing products that involved the use of proprietary databases and highly skilled technical specialists. Now, online analytical processing functionality is often incorporated into query and analysis tools. Thus, business users can perform interactive analysis and, for example, click on a number in a report to drill down to and analyze the underlying details. Effective business intelligence should be an interactive process, and query and analysis tools with embedded online analytical processing functionality permit business users to perform dynamic analyses on their data. As most IT practitioners will certainly attest, users requesting a static report will typically ask for additional modifications and details. Query and analysis tools allow business users to formulate a high-level query and then immediately explore the underlying details on their own. Core business intelligence technologies such as query, reporting, and interactive analysis is used to view or analyze what is or has already occurred, while data mining and predictive analysis allow users to predict what may occur. This provides insight into both lagging and leading indicators. Business intelligence technology uses sophisticated statistical techniques to find relationships that are hidden or not always obvious. It can be used to identify which factors closely relate to customer churn and attrition, or which factors were most closely related to a successful response in a marketing campaign. In terms of business intelligence speak, a picture is worth a thousand words, a thousand numbers. 
and graphical techniques, including dashboards, strongly complement the other dimensions of the BI spectrum. With graphical gauges analogous to an automobile dashboard and symbols such as traffic lights where red represents an alert condition and yellow a warning, users can quickly identify exception conditions. It's often been said that if you can't measure it, you can't manage it. The scorecards and other performance management tools enable you to establish business and quality metrics, update and monitor the results, and communicate them as appropriate so that minor problems can be identified early on and corrective action quickly taken. Dashboards are frequently used to display performance metrics and can allow users to drill down from the visual image to view the underlying detail. One other dimension of business intelligence we should look at is distribution and control. Business intelligence is not just about tools and their applications. It's also concerned with distribution and control. Companies need to be able to publish reports to the web and deliver them to a user's preferred mobile device. However, not every employee should have access to every report or analysis and administration, monitoring, security, and control are also part of the business intelligence environment. Furthermore, the use of commercial business intelligence products does not necessarily mean the elimination of spreadsheets. Rather, BI can provide controlled linkage of spreadsheets to up-to-date data while enforcing proper distribution and control. This way, spreadsheet chaos is no longer an issue and trying to determine whose spreadsheet is more correct is no longer part of every company meeting. The ability to locate and search out relevant reports is also part of the business intelligence landscape, as a report is of little value if no one knows it exists or how to find it. <laughs>